this dear chap spends his life unable not to have the best tickets for any opera in the world. And he's here. Why? It's very, very hard, actually, having spending night after night in the best seats in the best opera houses in the world. Um, there are many, many problems attached to it, and I regard this as a rest cure. Is that something that actually impinges upon your view of art in general? That, that in some sense, hearing somebody play some great piece is part of the resuscitation of life. I wouldn't say resuscitation, I would say purification of the senses and possibly redemption of the soul. Gosh, you sound like a frightful mess. Um, for people who are less of a mess, but who have <laughs> normal lives, where do you see? Johnny, the... none of us have normal lives and we're all a terrible mess. And, and I also admired your article about Brexit. Beautifully placed. Um... <laughs> okay, cut. This no, no, to... don't cut because, because, because <laughs> I think what is, what is very important um, in what we're talking about is actually what is it? There's a chap who's playing the late Schubert Sonata. Where does that fit into people's lives? Especially people who are not in the business the way we are. <clears throat> Can you switch it off and switch it on? I've got to think about this. Because he's asked me a very important question. Um, I suppose for me it's actually why I'm here is because I spend 90% of my musical life, as it were, listening to the human voice and the assumption that the human voice is the supremely expressive musical instrument. And it is good once a year more than once a year to be reminded that actually there are other forms of musical expression just as sublime, in fact possibly more sublime because they don't involve the compromising element of verbal text, the limiting element of verbal text. Is that any sort of answer? No, I no, think that really. is an answer. No, no, I, I think that's a, an answer on one level. On another level, there is the that's whole cool. business um, of um, the extent to which for those of us who live within or with the world of music we go to string quartets, we go to operas, we go to piano recitals but there are lots of people who don't um, what is there about this discrepancy that should be addressed between what well, between the discrepancy between the people who go to who love as it were classical music and those who don't hmm. there's nothing that can be done about it some people like some sorts of music some people like other sorts of music i have a pretty blank spot for jazz i can't stand hip-hop i could listen to it all week you know you could pummel me with it all week, you could torture me with it all week and I still wouldn't like it. And it's simply, uh, it ultimately comes down to a, a matter of taste. And when you go to the dentist and he offers you music, yeah. what music well, do you I'm want? Well, I'm so embarrassed that I usually say, oh, how about that, the Beatles or the Beach Boys? Perfect! Because I don't want him to think... I don't I'm want to associate Opus 135 and I with exactly, my And I certainly don't want to listen to a Beethoven sonata <laughs> and he's drilling into my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> there we um, are.